Hey guys, I just put together these new awesome coach frame template sets and I wanted to quickly go over on how you can easily edit these images to add your own using a free program called GIMP. You can download it at www.gimp.org and it is a Photoshop like program that allows you to do some pretty amazing things with the templates. So first I want to show you how you would add if you had a new diamond coach in your organization and you would like to add them and post a picture about them, all you would do is obviously you would open the image or you could go to their Facebook page and pick out one of their images and actually just click on it and do what I'm going to do here and I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to go back to GIMP and my diamond frame and I'm going to paste it which all you would do is hit edit paste or control V once I've pasted it onto the image I'm going to add it to a new layer you would go to layer to new layer and then you would come over to the scale tool so that we can get this a little bigger to the frame size you want to just get it close to what your frame is and you'll want to do this before you tilt it which we're going to do that next so I've scaled it now it's the appropriate size and I'm going to go to the rotate tool and just rotate it slightly and then go to the move tool and move it into its position now you see it's on the front and that's not where we want it so on the second layers gradient toolbar to the side, you're just going to want to lower a level layer and it will put it right behind your frame. So now you can go ahead and export your image. You're always going to want to export rather than save. So you would export it and save it to wherever you want to save it at. If you have a folder for your team, you want to save it in there new coach Holly oh and I had cleared off the destination we want to keep this a PNG so just new coach Holly dot PNG export and save now this image is saved you want to make sure that you don't overwrite the original image name because you want to save this as a template so that's how you add an image to your template we have other temp I'm gonna have other templates there's gonna be Emerald coach Ruby coach new coach and then some blank ones that you could use for your challenge groups um, if you're doing a free group uh, coach coach webinars like really anything you want to use them for for your team it would be easy to just open your logo and paste it anywhere within the image I'm going to actually go through some of the images that come in the packs but let's show you how to use I created a bunch of templates so if the color is not what you want it to be you can always change it within this program but what you would do to get the transparency to add your own image is just go and copy this image and I'm going to go ahead and close it because I'm done with it and I'm going to paste it on to this image and then layer to new layer now over here in the gradient layer, I'm just going to go to the brown wood background and I'm going to go to eraser. You can adjust the eraser shape, size, and how big it is over here. I have it where I want it and you just go along the image. like that and you are done now you can also go ahead and if you want to change the color of one of these templates to more match your team color you could go to colorize since this is a dark color to start with we're going to start by lighting lightening it up I 
always add a lot of saturation to brighten it. And then you can drag it back to really any color you would like it to be. So once you do that, you hit OK. And now, let's say you want to paste another image in. You would do the same thing. Just copy the image, paste it, scale it. Add it to a new layer, rotate it, and then drag it into position. Now one thing I forgot to mention earlier that I tend to do with pictures that I have to scale significantly, sometimes they'll end up being a little distorted. So if you go into filters, you can go to enhance and sharpen. And it will improve the clarity of your image. Now that I have the image where it should be, I'm just going to go ahead and drop it back behind the brown layer. Now this is ready to be saved and you do the same thing. You just go to export. I don't want to name it brown wood because that's the background and it will clear out the background if you give it the same name. So I'm going to go with new coach Holly again. And instead of saving it into this frame folder, I'm going to go ahead and save it to my desktop. You can do it to any folder you would like. I generally just think, oh, since I already have one Holly, I gotta name it Holly too. But I generally think if you save images outside your template images folder, it helps you not rename an important file and lose it. So that's basically how you would edit these frames. Now I'm going to go through what all is included in the frames. There is a blank background. There's a single frame. And this is all transparency behind here. So all you would have to do is paste your image and drop the layer. There's emerald coach, ruby coach, diamond coach with a blue stripe, blue stripe, emerald coach, ruby. I'm just going to go ahead and thumb through it, but there's a little bit of everything, including templates of the Ruby, Emerald, Diamond, and New Coach that are blank that you can colorize, you can add to a different background. So it really gives you a wide variety of things that you can do with it. And the images, you have a significant amount of images already done for you, but when you want to play around with different backgrounds, It'll be real fun for you and easy just to be able to create your own using the templates that are coming up for the different ranks. So there you have it. These coach frame templates are going to be on my blog and Etsy, so if you want, check it out. It's www.coachmmorris.com, and you can find my Etsy shop in the Etsy social links or just shop direct downloads from my page. Thanks.